Hello, welcome. I am Lacey Ingreo with Be Wise Farms, and this is the Transpersonal Beekeeper. Today, we talk about gratitude. As a wellness strategist, we work together to create practices that build upon our always developing identities. And throughout our lifetime, we change. Trauma changes us. Impactful events change us. World events change us. They shift our identity. They allow us to shift our, our brain, our mind, and our way of thinking. A gratitude practice is a beautiful way to build upon these ever-shifting identities. Research has linked gratitude with a wide range of benefits, including strengthening the immune system, improving sleep patterns, creating deeper feelings of optimism, joy, pleasure, and tapping into what we're grateful for is also a wonderful way to feel less lonely and isolated. And so a gratitude practice is so much more than a momentary feeling. It's a way to improve our mental health and well-being. So if any of you happen to be hobby farmers, um, folks who keep other animals than bees, or in just bees, right? It's not always easy. Um, the, the idea in the concept of death within homesteading, farming, beekeeping, it's, it's not always easy and it's, it is inevitable. One of the practices we have here on our farm is uh, specifically steps of gratitude. And steps of gratitude is a walk that uh, Adam and I take when we have to do the hard things with some of our animals, specifically raising chickens or having fowl or, um, you know, beef farmers. Um, these things aren't, aren't always easy. So bringing this practice, the steps of gratitude into the apiary, we have an opportunity to offer the bees so much love, so much of ourselves simply by moving within that space. So when we're talking about being in the apiary and all of the incredible gifts that bees provide, this is the opportunity to thank them. They provide us honey. They provide propolis. They provide royal jelly, pollen, beeswax. They also provide breath, opportunity for self-awareness a little bit of shock every once in a while. <laughs> they provide a calming environment for us to be with ourselves and the more than human world. And while this is called Steps of Gratitude and it is a walking meditation, it can also be done sitting in front of a beehive, sitting in front of your apiary, sitting in your home, wherever it is you have the time, space, energy to offer gratitude to the bees. So identify a walking path in or near the apiary, in between the rows, around the apiary. Maybe there's some sort of formation or labyrinth within your apiary. And as we 
take time to observe the space, making it um, easy for us to navigate. Low tripping hazards, this type of thing. And then we find our breath as we begin our journey. Grounding into the feet. Taking full deep inhales and exhales. And when you're ready, beginning to move step by step, slowly, intentionally. And as we begin paying such close attention to the body and breath. And as you move by your beehives, walking slowly, begin to voice your messages of gratitude. Thanking the bees for the food that they provide the pollination that they give. Offering some value and love to their lives. And continuing to stroll step by step until you find your way out of your apiary or you find yourself in a place of calm and peace and ready to stop. And at the end of your steps of gratitude, simply giving yourself some deep, full breaths and noticing the, the shift in mind and body. Practicing gratitude is a very strong practice for me personally. It is somewhere I can go when I have nothing else to give or when my brain wants to take me to other places. My last point of gratitude is to you all. Each one of you that has taken your time and energy to be in practice, to shift the mind, and to have new experiences with me. Maybe some of you have come completely out of your comfort zone in some of these practices together. I am deeply, deeply grateful for you. As we end our gratitude practice today, I'd love to enter into a few deep breaths So on your time, when you're ready, simply breathe. Three deep breaths it is often the quickest way to take us out of our mind and into our bodies. Thank you for joining me today. And through all of the weeks of practice we've been together, may your practice be very, very sweet. <laughs>